Hello, I'm going to show you how to set up Sum of Grades in your gradebook. Sum of Grades does what it says. It allows you to total up the sum of grades for the students' assignments and present it that way to them. So let's go to the grades where we can see an example of how this is done. This is the default view from the grader report. We're going to go to categories and items so I can show you how it looks to set it up for sum of grades. First of all, the aggregation sum of grades is selected. You can click on that by that, the little drop down button there. Okay, now you'll see that each of these items I created, I added these items and sum of grades is totaling these up for the course total here of 80. I'm going to add one more item to make my course out of 100. If you use sum of grades it makes sense to use a score out of 100 for all of your grades as that's the most easy way for your students to calculate their their sum of grades uh, towards 100. Okay, so I have a course total of 100 points and let's go and see what that looks like for the students. This is how it looks for the instructor, 19 plus 19, course total 38 and of course you can have many number of different items. Let's ha see how it looks for the students. Well, we have to select from the drop down menu the all users or the individual student, I'll just select all users as there's only one and we'll see something that is fine if you're looking at points 19 for the first assignment, 19 for the second and 38 but a little bit odd in terms of percentage we would expect that 95% plus 95% gives you a running total of 95% an A for this course as opposed to 38% but what it's doing, because it's sum of grades, is just calculating the cumulative total towards 100%. So, in real terms, that equals 95% out of the total number of points so, so far, but uh, it's presented as 38 here. So we want to disable this percentage column for accuracy purposes. If we go to settings, at the top here, click on this tab and then scroll down to user report. Instead of showing that percentage we want to hide it and save changes. Okay, now back at our user report if we select the users again we'll see that we just have the points. So when item 3 is completed we would imagine that that would be 57 